Hello friends, welcome to the part 13 of this tutorial series. In this part, we will start and uh, working on the app component.html file. And before that, you should also import couple of packages that I installed recently. Uh, that is one for the toast notifications. This is the ngx toaster package. And the second one is this JWT decode to decode my JWT token and username out of it. So once that is installed, you can go to the app module and I'll simply uh, put in all the uh, material library modules here and definitely create a separate shared module and import it import that here but I will keep it simple for this for the purpose of this tutorial so I'll say mat uh, select module mat in icon module mat toolbar module mat uh, dialog module sorry dialog module then we have mat button module uh, let me see what else I need form field module mat input module and also I need the forms module from angular route uh, angular forms okay then I need the uh, I think I need also need the check uh, forms module dialog module card module and the card module okay next i'll import the jwt or sorry the toaster module for root get some options option will be close button set it to do progress uh, bar set to do progress animation set to increasing I don't know why this is giving me uh, red squiggly. I might need to restart the development server. I'll do it later on. Let's import all the modules first. So we have toolbar, we have button, card, input, dialog, icon, forms, field, select. This looks all to me. Okay, let's run npm start. And I've already defined some routes. Okay, here it's pretty simple. There are four routes the default route, home component, the login route to the login component, register route, the register component, and the wildcard route will redirect me to the home component or any unknown routes. Okay, that's all about the routing module. Let's see the terminal it's compiled successfully and hope the error should be gone now. Okay, perfect. In the app component, I'll simply use the matte toolbar here and give it a color of primary let's see if you get a blue toolbar or not there is our blue tool perfect now inside this i'll create a bootstrap container and i'll uh, give it class of d flex make it a flex box container as well within this i'll have a span with a router link to home and this will be my to do maker logo not logo actually it's a text i'll give it a custom style here inline style of pointer so you go here click it it will take you to the home page so next i'm gonna create a span and give it a class of spacer it will simply space out text and uh, the next item will be a div with class of the flex justify content around and custom class icons this will also have a custom inline style of width 100 pixels okay inside this div i'll have two more divs first one will have the flex line item center margin right two and padding x2 these are all bootstrap classes. I am not using any custom class as of now except for this one and this one. Okay. If you don't know how, what these classes do, just please go ahead and check the documentation of bootstrap. They're pretty handy and pretty simple to understand. So <clears throat> inside this div, I'll have a span with a router link. And of course, I'm not gonna explain all these Angular concepts in detail because uh, I expect you to know a little bit of angular and how the angular routing works in case you don't know if you have any questions please put your questions in the comment section below 
I'll try to answer as much as I can. But again, it's better if you uh, have some basic understanding of the Angular framework. So, Mad Icon, all the icon names here that I'm using can be found at this link. So, this is the material icon library link. You can go here and type anything you want, and it will give you the corresponding uh, options or of available icons. Okay. Now here I have a login here because it's not spaced out properly. So that will that is where my spacer will come in the picture. I'll give it a class of I will I will set the flow property or oh sorry the flex property to one one auto. I'll take the entire space here, the remaining space, and I'll use my, uh, my icons mat icon and icon div whatever div, uh, whatever diffs you have inside that i'll set the cursor to point okay that's the only two classes i uh, styles i want to define there similarly i'll have another one here a div that will say register and the class or the icon name is how underscore red and the url is register here and here as well so, and inside between them i'm gonna put a pipe symbol like this save the changes go back to the browser there you have it okay and this is margin left not right okay perfect outside this uh, parent div i'll create another div here that will again have the flex justify content around icons and the align item center really this will also have a width of 100 pixels but this inside this i'll have another div with a padding of two in the x direction with the h3 that will say welcome user and welcome tom here and uh, I just want to show this div when my show menu properties falls. I'll create this menu inside my uh, inside my file here. Uh, this is a TypeScript file. I'll set it to true initially. And I don't need this type definition. Okay. And this menu here, I only want to show njf when the menu is true so initially you'll see the menu but if i go here and set it to false let's say i'm logged in i don't want the menu i only want the name of these okay so oops so initially set it to true and after this div I want to put a put an icon that says log out and this will simply log you out okay go back to the browser oops I don't have it yet because I don't have the uh, menu or the welcome this the logout button So the last thing in the app component is the router outlet because we are not seeing any any uh, content here in the body if we click on log in the url changes here as you can see but we are not seeing anything like homeworks or login works that is because because we have not called the uh, router outlet if we go here i'll give it a class of container and a padding of padding y of three and here i'll use router outlet save the changes go back to the browser it says home works login works register works perfect so our routing is working our app component has been designed we'll work on the home component next and i'll do some copy pasting of the html code because i don't want to type all the html by myself i will explain it to you guys so that you can understand what's going on there 
So please stay tuned with me and I hope you're liking this tutorial series. If you have any comments or suggestions, please put those in the comment section of the video. And please like this video, share it with your friends and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care, stay safe and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.